Welcome to the wild world of Titan, Saturn's most mysterious moon located about 1.2 million kilometers from Earth. This celestial body is a strange place, full of mysteries and surprises, which have only recently begun to be revealed. It's impossible not to be impressed by the landscape of Titan, with its warm rain ocean that would envy any human. And believe it or not, there is the possibility that there may be forms of life there, something that can make us question everything we know about the universe. Titan is the largest of Saturn's 63 known moons, with a diameter of about 5,150 kilometers, making it larger than Mercury and just slightly smaller than Mars. Although its size is noteworthy, it's the top layer, primarily composed of mist, that hides its true mysterious nature. Help us grow and reach more people. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and share them with your friends on social media. Together, we can build an even stronger and vibrant community. Thank you for supporting our work. The moon was discovered in 1655, but it was only with the visit of the Pioneer 11 probe, followed by the Voyager 1 and 2, that it was possible to begin to understand what lies behind Titan's mist. And even so, there is still much we don't know about this distant place. We invite you to dive deeply into the mysterious nature of Titan, where nothing is what it seems and where the true beauty can only be revealed to those who have the courage to explore it. Let's go to the surface of Titan, where an ocean of methane, yes, you read it right, an ocean awaits your arrival. This moon of Saturn is a crazy mixture of hydrogen, nitrogen, and of course, methane, which we know well as the gas we use to light our gas stoves. But here, it becomes liquid and falls as rain, forming rivers of methane and giant lakes. In 1997, the Cassini probe was sent to Saturn with the mission of studying the planet and its satellites, but when legendary astrophysicist Carl Sagan resumed the study of Titan, he sent a spacecraft called Lander Huygens with the Cassini probe. In 2004, the Lander Huygens was launched towards Titan, where it described the surface of this mysterious moon. The descent of Huygens took about two and a half hours, floating due to the density of the atmosphere on Titan. Although nearly half of the data recorded during the landing process was lost, we still have the chance to experience this incredible journey to the surface of this strange and liquid place. It's time to disembark on a wild journey through the surface of Titan, Saturn's largest moon. With a long beard like a dreamlike parachute, we dive into the atmosphere of Titan and are met with something truly epic. The atmosphere is clearly divided into layers with different substances and is a breathtaking sight. Let's descend to the surface where the temperature is as low as minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit near the surface and still hot minus 134 degrees Fahrenheit at the top. And yes, you read that right, the sky turns blue due to nitrogen and hydrogen. But from about 249 miles away, you start to see the orange mist that takes up the place up to 59 miles. And then, when we reach an altitude of 29 miles, the surface becomes visible and is incredibly similar to someplace on Earth. There are mountains, rivers, and everything else, but the orange mist is so uniform that the sun's light never reaches the ground. And what does a sunny day on Titan look like at noon? Well, it's quite strange. But then things get even stranger when we see that the surface is flat but has mountains over 3,280 feet tall. And when the probe lands on a dry bed of a methane river, we see that some ice rocks look like preserved pebbles. And then, where did the supposed methane rivers go? Well, it may be that they simply disappeared with Titan's climate changes. But the Cassini probe is still collecting data to help understand how the atmosphere is so opaque. Thanks to Cassini photos, we discovered that the atmosphere is composed of layers, the first is essentially the factory that produces complex organic compounds with methane, nitrogen, and hydrogen exposed to sunlight. And as they descend towards the surface, they create even more complex layers such as the fallen mist. 
So, let's explore more of this insane place and find out more about Titan's atmosphere layers. Let's go! So, it's time to dive deep into the depths of humanity and decipher this mystery of lands far from the sun, the Cassini mission to Titan. This bizarre and cold place seems to be so similar to Earth, yet still completely different. The question is, where did the methane from the rivers that once flourished on this planet go? The answer may be found in the climate changes that occur in this place the rivers fill with methane rain and then dry again. But we still have much to learn, with Cassini making 127 flybys, we hope to obtain more data. What's really strange is Titan's atmosphere, composed of opaque layers, as a result of complex organic compounds produced in the first layer, at an altitude of over 1,968,505 feet, where methane, nitrogen, and hydrogen are exposed to sunlight and transformed into even more complex elements. The second layer consists of a haze of pollens, similar to soot on Earth. And the third layer consists of internal ethane gas, where scientists have noted a unique anti-greenhouse effect. And that's how the game begins, on the journey to discover the mysterious lands of Titan. Let's go! Dude, the weather on Titan is crazy! There's an ethane shield and haze that keeps the heat of the sun about 1,312,346 feet high, but close to the surface, temperatures fall to minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit. The atmosphere is made mainly of nitrogen, but it also has 3.5% methane. Recently, a methane tropical storm was recorded there. The rain of methane during the storm was like nothing I've ever seen before, with drops the size of a coin falling so slowly that you could easily dodge them. And the amazing thing is that this chemical reactor is located at an altitude of 1,579,716 feet, which resulted in huge amounts of organic compounds crashing to the surface 4.5 billion years ago. The Earth was exactly like Titan back then, with its chemical reactor near the surface. The only difference is that the Earth was warmer due to its proximity to the Sun. Oh, and remember Cassini? It was able to confirm the composition of Titan's atmosphere, and it's surprisingly similar to Earth's. This moon is simply amazing, my friend. But then there are the questions that scientists have not been able to answer. Then and now, the organic substances that fell from the sky have not dissipated in the sea of methane and soot. After studying the composition of the atmosphere and its layer, scientists were faced with another mystery. The methane that is now in the atmosphere should have disappeared 10 million years ago, but it is still there. Some scientists have suggested that, in the process of forming Titan, there was so much methane that the supply has not run out yet. Others have suggested that methane is produced by some chemical process that occurs on the surface, and even if there are organisms that produce methane as part of their life cycle. This was the first indication of potential, albeit primitive, life on Titan. The second mystery for scientists was the amount of hydrogen in the atmosphere. According to the calculations, they should be two and a half times less than they are, but it is not fully clear to scientists. Titan, Saturn's moon, is a place of paradoxes for scientists. For some strange reason, there are very few impact craters there, even with the extremely dense atmosphere, which simply burns small objects that fall. The Minerva crater, the largest of them, has a radius of 800 kilometers, but is small compared to other celestial bodies. The lack of craters makes it difficult to determine the age of the relief, making scientists unsure whether Titan is geologically active or has a tectonic plate system. The surface is, in fact, suspiciously smooth. The dark areas on Titan's surface initially sparked great interest as scientists believed they were methane oceans. However, upon landing with the Huygens probe in the region, no liquids were found. Instead, the dark spots were identified as deserts similar to those on Earth, formed by the same climate system of seasons and winds. The dune system is composed of the linset and organic substances, giving Titan a distinct touch and a unique pattern of its own formation. As we continue to investigate the surface of this enigmatic moon, one thing is certain, Titan is a strange and fascinating place with many mysteries yet to be uncovered. With a weak gravity, a wind of 17.7 km per hour is capable of triggering a dust storm on Titan's surface. 
The sand present on that satellite is composed of methane remnants which, when it rains, descends as liquid, carrying along soot from the atmosphere and, when it dries, leaves behind sand particles. Although it doesn't rain much on Titan, the Tholen mist is believed to be the main source of this sand, which covers the surface like snow. The photos sent from the first missions revealed the dry beds of ancient rivers, leading scientists to search for the presence of liquids on Titan's surface. They found the only remaining lake, the Methane Lake Ontario, at the South Pole, but also discovered many dry lakes in the vicinity. There are still many unknowns about what might be at the bottom of these lakes and what their shores are made of. At the North Pole, entire seas have been found, fed by rivers that flow into them. The Kraken Mare and the Lygia Mare are true jewels in the solar system, being the only places outside of Earth where liquid has been found on the surface. However, the main mystery still hovers over Titan, can this satellite sustain life? The answer has not yet been revealed, but there are two theories to be considered. My friends, I feel like a space traveler crossing the depths of the universe. What we have here is the outpouring of liquid water bursting from the cracks on the surface, seriously, it's amazing. It's because of Saturn's attraction that there's a warm ocean hidden under the icy crust, keeping the ideal conditions for life. But, unfortunately, it's too cold there for known life. Still, it's interesting to think about how Titan can give us clues about the conditions that existed on Earth billions of years ago. This is the true purpose of science, to explore, discover, and understand. And certainly, the theory of life according to Titan is an adventure worth exploring. My friends, there is a distant place in the depths of space where the surface looks like a frozen gasoline lake. But, calm down, life is still possible there. Chris Mackin, a crazy scientist, suggests that on the moon Titan, there may be methane-producing bacteria that feed on hydrogen and acetylene and produce methane as a result of their activity. But here's the trick, methane and ethane don't behave the same way water does in terms of life development. Water is an excellent solvent, but methane and ethane in liquid and solid form are not suitable for protecting the cell membrane which is the part of the cell responsible for filtering and protection. But the Chinese scientists are on it, they have managed to synthesize ozotosomes, organic compounds that can form a protective membrane for living cells in this environment. And speaking of which, recently the ALMA telescopes in the Mexican desert revealed that there is a substance from which ozotosomes could be created, and in quantities that could host up to a quintillion of such organisms in 10 square meters. Who would have thought that in that cold and dark place, there is room for life? Any other attempt to deny the possibility of life in a methane environment is madness. Life is a sinister and unbelievable mystery, and this truth can't be clearer when we talk about the discovery of an incredible asphalt lake on Earth. Composed almost entirely of natural asphalt oil, it hides an incredibly ancient life, fed by hydrocarbons and live anaerobic bacteria. But life is not limited to our planet, and Titan is proof of that. Saturn's satellite is a cold and strange mirror of the life that existed on Earth billions of years ago, and as a big enthusiast, you can look at it with interest through telescopes. And even though life there is different, it is possible, and scientists can only hope for the next trip to Titan to discover more about the mystery of nascent life. But until then, we just observe this distant world, an ocean of water and ice, waiting for the next big discovery that will forever change the way we see the universe and ourselves. I'm enjoying our space travels more and more, I hope you are with me, on the next missions. Until the next video.